Welcome to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, I'm going to be going over some coloring book ideas and coloring book design tips. So I'm um, kind of going to show you how you can start off making really, really simple kids coloring books and then how we can take it to a more advanced level and put uh, multiple assets together. <clears throat> and using this really cool tool that I just found called Bose Publishing. Now, I don't have an, any affiliate links or anything like that, but I'm just going to pass this information along to you. Um, the tool that I will be using in PowerPoint is really, really cool. It's nifty. Um, and you technically could uh, get this and actually um, po create all of your um, coloring books and even journals and notebooks inside of it. Um, if you didn't want to pay the, uh, you know, $13 a month for the pro Canva um, account, and you wanted to just look at long term, not spending that monthly fee, then this would take care of you. Um, but however, um, Canva for me, because it provides so many different um, professional um, elements and, you know, you can actually create full coloring book pages now from just the um, the elements and assets and images that Canva provides. So Canva just alone, just the the images and, and free stuff that you get along with the membership um, is really, really great. And so um, I will continue to pay for pro, but this is a really cool uh, tool that I'll be showing you today. So let's jump into coloring book ideas. And so I'm over here on Creative Fabrica. And so on Creative Fabrica, I typed in, um, let's say we're going to start doing some spring coloring books, things like that. I typed in spring coloring, uh, spring landscapes, and I came across this really cool one that has some really high quality landscapes here. And what's neat is that, you know, you're not going to be able to find a whole lot of these, which are coloring pages, but I've really found a pretty good solution to turning these into, <laughs> it comes along with the tool, which is just amazing, but um, a way to turn these into um, coloring book images within um, seconds, uh, a click of a mouse. So um, I went ahead and downloaded this and I'm going to go ahead and come over here into PowerPoint. Let's open up PowerPoint real quick. And let's just create a blank presentation. I like to right click over here and go to layout and make this a blank layout. And then today let's do some fun stuff. And let's, I usually design everything in eight and a half by 11, but let's make an eight and a half by eight and a half uh, today. So I'm going to go over here and you'll notice along the ribbon here, I have um, an add ins button. I'm going to click on the add ins. And now I have this um, tool here. This tool, just so you know, is from uh, let's see here. The tool is from Bose Publishing. Let me see if I can find it on Gumroad real quick. Okay, so I came over here and I just typed in Bose Publishing Gumroad. And you'll see that uh, Gumroad, Bose Publishing shows up. So we can click on that. And then you can actually see um, he has 58 products. And these are all very specialized products that are um, for low and no content uh, book publishing, which is really cool. And the one that I purchased. So you'll just come over here. And the one that I pur purchased was, um, it was a pack. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, I think if you go to KDP here, it's this one right here. KDP Kindle um, Direct Publishing Mega Pack 95 Templates. And you get all these, uh, and look, it's got 65 star ratings. It's really, really neat. You get a bunch of stuff, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, I will go ahead and um, open that up real quick. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to open this up real quick and grab the link and just make sure that I actually um, put this in my description. So go ahead and uh, click the link below. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just, um, you know, free information to you um, and you can go and check out what you get. But what you get with this is um, it explains it all over here and you get all this stuff. Every single one of these is a certain thing that it does. You can change all the fonts inside of a um, uh, you know, let's say you get something off of Creative Fabrica and then you upload it into PowerPoint, you can click a button and change all the fonts um, immediately, which is really cool. But the part that I really like is bulk create outlines of pictures for coloring books. Um, bear in mind that it doesn't work 100% um, all the time because you know, it's just using some different things and stenciling, but it, um, but it, I've tested it out. It works really, really well. 
and there's some um, kind of fine tuning we can do to it as well, which is really cool. Um, but this right here alone is the reason why I, I spent, I believe, 33 uh, USD on this. Uh, because there's no other tool that I know that can you can push one button and do this. So let's jump in and show you how that really works. So we come in over here and um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm inside the tool, Bose Publishing Tool, and you can choose the trim size. I'm going to go eight and a half by eleven. That's just really cool that it will do all that. This is um, saves you time and it's using macros. Every single thing is a macro. Um, which is really neat. So you can turn bleed on and off. You can do all kinds of stuff. But what I'm going to do is go over here to insert pictures from device. And let's find that uh, landscape that we just saw over here, right? So we have this. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, open it up. Um, but another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add ins and I'm going to go ahead and do grid lines. And it'll give me a nice little um, border right here. This outside border is what I'm going to go with, which I think is going to work just fine. Uh, so we can go ahead and shape this up to where we want. You could put um, actually build a border like that as well. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the grid lines for now, which will work just fine as well. So we have that on the page. It's in color though, right? So this would work really good for a book. Um, coloring book cover. Um, then we can put some text over the top and this would be a nice cover. But what do we do with a front cover anyways, right? But what do we do if we want to turn this to black and white? Well, check the magic out in this. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to go over to add-ins and I'm going to go to uh, this uh, last button over here and I'm going to push yes. Okay. Watch what happens pretty awesome stuff right here. <laughs> it just changed it to a coloring book image. You know, you have to pay money for tools that do this and they don't even do half as good of a job as this. So he's using advanced uh, macros that um, is going in and doing, I just, I'm blown away um, that they were able to do this because you can't just take an image and then go turn it into grayscale. Um, you'd still have a lot of this would be very dark. I don't know how this, this um, creator put this together, this macro that's allowing us to do this, but it is just unbelievable. This is one of the coolest tools that I've ever seen um, with, uh, con uh, you know, low content publishing. So um, well worth it. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to go ahead and add a border. So you go to picture effects. Um, I'm going to add a black border and then I'm going to go ahead and also click on that and go to weight and then make it a little thicker. I want it to pop a little. So I like that, right? So I've got this image looks really cool. So this is, would be more a little bit on the advanced side of things. Um, this probably wouldn't be for a younger kid because it's, um, there's going to be some advanced coloring going on, right? Um, another thing we can do is just see how we can fine tune this. You can see there's the bears right there. Pretty cool. If we click on the image and then we right click and go to format picture, we can come up over here to this picture icon and then go to picture corrections. And then go down to the brightness and uh, turn the brightness down and start paying attention to the lines on the page. You can see that it just started getting darker. So see right here, watch what happens. It gets darker. Okay. And then I keep going until something starts getting way too dark on the page. And that's you see where the birds came in. So the birds and then you, you they start popping. So everything, um, the shading and the water is looking good. And then to come in and see how stuff's starting to get dark right here. I'll probably take it up one or two levels from that. And that's starting to pop and look really good. So we've got our page. I'm going to close out of that. So you could stop here and that could be a nice coloring page. And then we would just move on to our next page, right? But let's go over real quick and see if we can find something on uh, Creative Fabrica. Um, like another uh, bear. Um, you know, like a bear to put on the page. So let's say we wanted to put another um, little cute bear on the page. You could do um, some different stuff here. That one's cool too. Um, it's between that one and this one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's look at our um, image where we could put a bear. Um, yeah, we could put a bear like right here maybe. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab this one right here. And we're just going to go ahead and download this real quick. 
and then it'll download. It's just one little simple element, so no problem at all, right? So I'm going to show that. I'm going to extract this real quick. Extract all, and then we're going to um, throw this image in here. Uh, so do do do. Come back over here. There's the bear. Let's just see if we can actually just throw it on top of the page here. Okay, so um, we may, I'm not sure what this will end up looking like because it has that blue background. This might not work. So let's go ahead and use our add in button um, and see what it ends up doing. Because of the blue, it might not work because it has a blue background. And let's see. So it did do that, but we have this right here and we need to um we need to make this so what i've been doing is going over here and i'll go into canva and what i'll do is i'll create a design so this is why canva is always going to be you know uh, uh, an important tool to have in my opinion you can start with an image and we can go and grab this bear right here we can bring this bear in <clears throat> and we can edit the image and then what we can do is we can grab this and we can go to effects and background remover. And it's going to remove the background. So we've got just the bear on there, right? So then now I'm going to download this with transparent background um, only, and then we'll wait till it loads a little bit, and then we'll be able to download this image, and then we'll try to bring this one into PowerPoint and see if this will work better. So we'll go insert pictures uh, from downloads. There's our bear, and let's see what ends up happening here. So we've got our transparent bear, but look, he's still he's he's still colored. So now we could take that tool. And let's see, um, you know, doing this live, um, I have not rehearsed this, so I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see what ends up happening. It's uh, processing and it worked. So there is our um, colored bear that we can put on the page, which is just super cool. So what I'll do is move that over. And we could put this bear anywhere right there like that. Uh, it's a bigger bear or you could shrink him down more, make it even more, a little bit more realistic. So maybe you've got your big bear right there. So uh, you can see that this is definitely something that's unique, right? We completely created something from a colored image, made it into a drawing, also took another element and, that was colored as well and made it into um, you know, you could put this bear anywhere. Um, and so this is really cool, really unique. So you can do that, right? And then you could also, uh, you know, new slide, uh, you can do, you know, um, the, with the, with the video, this is, you know, I wanted to also show you simple. So I kind of jumped into advanced real quick, but we come into simple and what would you do, right? You could, you can continue designing here. You could go and just get, um, any assets you find um, over here, like uh, bear coloring. Let's see if there's any coloring pages of bears. So you can grab these uh, really easily and throw them on those pages. Okay. You can throw those on those pages, no problem at all. And you would have some simple stuff that you could put into PowerPoint. Another thing that you can do, you can always do is you can uh, come in here and go into Canva create design and you can do custom size and let's just say we did a uh, by inch and we did 8.5 by 8.5 and this is uh, you know you can use canva for free as well but you won't get um, to my point earlier you won't get all the elements that i'm going to show you now so um, i'm going to show you how you can do all this right now inside of canva as well so we go over to elements Let's stick with the bear theme. And what I like to do, look at all these bears, really cool. Most of them are in color though, right? So what I like to do is come up here and select white. And then I'll um, keep free and pro on, but 
and then I'll push enter. Now look at all these white drawing bears that we can just grab, throw on the page, and there's your simple um, page. Boom, click that button, and it'll have some suggestions and things. Um, you can grab that, and sometimes it will, um, you'll have to be the judge if it's a good one or not to go with, but you have all these cute teddy bears that you can make. So this would also uh, obviously be for a toddler, right? We would use these kinds of bears for the younger crowd, right? This wouldn't be for adults or advanced uh, or older kids. So you can see how you can now, you can create full fledged coloring books just right inside Canva very quickly. But if you want to get into the advanced, advanced stuff, see, just like that, just, it's just, it's unlimited how many you can create a coloring book just for bears that nobody else has created with all these elements. There's more than enough to go around to create a few actually. But if you want to get into the advanced stuff, like I showed you, um, then this is um, the way to go, right? You're going to get some advanced stuff going on here. Um, and then also, you know, you're not limited to all this, um, all the stuff you find on Creative Fabrica. Uh, now you're able to use anything that you find. A lot of times I find when I'm creating the coloring book, um, the, 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 the images that I find on Creative Fabrica are all in color and they're not um, blank like this. And so this tool will come in handy and will allow you to break into, um, to that, uh, and using Creative Fabrica to its full potential. So I hope that, that, uh, this kind of just, uh, sparked some of your idea generation, uh, flowing in your brain and that you can take this and run with it. Um, again, it's Bose Publishing. Um, I'll drop a link in the description for this tool that I've uh, bought yesterday and installed. Looks really cool. Um, and so, yeah, I hope that uh, this video brought you value. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my next video. Until next time, take care.